Hey, what's up guys? TBL here, and we're back with some Destiny on the PlayStation 4. Now, it is Iron Banner week once again. Kind of as a surprise, I wasn't really expecting Iron Banner to come back until next week at the earliest. But it looks like Lord Saladin decided to make an appearance, so we'll be covering the armor and the weapons that he's got for sale this week. Now, I'm not going to really bother covering the bounty since those are the same every single time the tournament comes around. Hopefully, when, uh, when the Taken King comes out, we'll get some new bounties in the Iron Banner. But we will be very quickly taking a look at the items that he's got for sale, and this week he's offering the Iron Banner boots and the helmet piece. Now, you can pick these up, but I honestly wouldn't recommend it. What with the Taken King being so close to release, this legendary gear is going to be made obsolete very soon. And additionally, the Iron Banner boots, for some odd reason, still don't have a heavy ammo buff. Never quite understood why they didn't get that perk. So really, in my opinion, there's no point in getting these boots. You know, unless of course you want the style points. They do come with an auto rifle and a scout rifle buff, respectively, between them. Alright, next up we've got the helmet. The first variant is rocking 63 intellect and 56 strength. It also comes with increased grenade throw distance and more super energy from grenade kills. Now, interestingly enough, the second one is also an intellect discipline build. There's usually a variant between intellect discipline and intellect strength. This one's rocking 56 intellect and 61 discipline, so a little bit less than the previous variant. And this one allows your melee hits to restore your grenade energy and comes with the infusion perk, where picking up an orb of light will replenish your health. Now, that's not bad in terms of the armor, but again, this stuff is going to be obsolete in another couple of weeks, so I would avoid picking up the armor this week. Instead, save your glimmer for this bad boy right here, because Lord Saladin is selling the Fell Winner's Lie Legendary Shotgun. Yeah, that shotgun that you hate getting killed by at ridiculous ranges is on sale. And he's actually selling a pretty good variant of it. It's already got a pretty good roll. Now, Felwinners, of course, being of the very high impact archetype of shotguns, it's got a very low fire rate, again, massive amounts of impact, and a decent starting range. It makes this thing a real terror in the crucible. But let's check out the perks and attachments that this thing is coming stock with. In the first tree, it's rocking a linear compensator, Field Choke, and Aggressive Ballistics. Now, of those three, I would probably recommend Field Choke for the extra boost to range. You're going to want to get as much range as possible out of this thing. Now, it is worth noting that Aggressive Ballistics does grant you additional stability as well as a little bit more impact. But overall, I think you'd get more, uh, more mileage out of Field Choke. Alright, in the first bubble tree here, we've got the Dreaded Shot Package. <laughs> I swear, Bungie is taunting us this week. Oh man, this perk right here, aiming this weapon, will reduce the spread of its pellets. Basically meaning that when you ADS snap on an opponent, you have more of a chance of landing all those pellets on them, resulting in more one-hit kills. This is the thing that makes this gun a monster. But it is being nerfed in next month's weapon balance update. It's having its accuracy reduced by 30%. Alright now, in the middle tree we've got Flared Magwell, Quick Draw, and finally, Injection Molt, which is kind of interesting. Injection Molt increases your stability but reduces your range. So I'm going to have to definitely recommend against that one. Remember, on this shotgun, you want as much range as you can get. So with that being said, I would probably go for Flared Magwell just to help with the reload speed. This is a shotgun, so the reloading is a little bit on the slow side. Alright, and the final perk on this thing is Knee Pads, which allow you to slide further when you have the weapon equipped. This is actually pretty helpful in PvP. It's really cool to get that sliding around the corner shotgun kill. But that's pretty much it for this Fell Winners. Again, this is a very good roll. You could just buy this and head straight into the Crucible and probably do pretty well. And again, while it's worth noting that Year 1 gear will be made obsolete when the Taken King comes out, it's definitely still worth it to pick up this gun. It's definitely still going to be a monster in normalized PvP. Alright, the last weapon Lord Saladin's got is Silimer's Wrath, the uh, Bullet Hose Auto Rifle. I'm going to save you a lot of time here and just say, you probably shouldn't pick this up. Of course, this archetype of auto rifle right now is really hurting in the metagame. And until the weapon class sees some major changes, which again are hopefully coming in the Taken King, uh, I can't really recommend that you pick this gun up. But we wouldn't be doing our jobs if we didn't at least go over everything very quickly. Alright, in the first tree we've got the Red Dot ORS, which is personally what I would use on this gun, the Quick Draw Iron Sights, which lower both your range and your stability, so I would avoid that, and finally, the Ranged Lens RLS-3. The first active perk on this thing is Focused Fire, which slows down your fire rate, but increases the overall damage that the gun is dealing. That's kind of an interesting perk to have on a bullet hose. And in the middle tree we've got Lightweight, 
flared magwell for faster reload speeds, and finally rifled barrel, which is kind of interesting. It almost doubles this gun's range. Of course, at the cost of a slower reload speed, but honestly, that's probably what I would use if I were to use this gun. And in the final bubble, we have counterbalance to increase this gun's already very high stability. But alright, there we go. Now again, I would very heavily recommend against getting this gun. But if you had to get it, I would roll for something like Red Dot OAS, Crowd Control, Rifled Barrel, and Glass Half Full. That's about the best you're gonna get. But alright, that's pretty much it for Lord Saladin's inventory this time around. Again, for those of you who haven't gotten one yet, this is your chance to get the Felwinner's Lie. Which will, of course, continue to be a fantastic shotgun in the Crucible, even after the weapon balance patch goes live, even when Taken King goes into effect. But alright, hopefully that helps with you guys' rolls. Now the last thing I wanted to talk to you guys about today is, of course, the Bungie Instagram account. Now over the course of the day, Bungie has been updating their Instagram account with pictures and descriptions of upcoming exotics. Now at the time of this recording, they've got quite a few pictures uploaded. They've got the Imprian Bellicose Exotic Titan Helmet, the Chaperone Exotic Shotgun, the Alchemist Raiment Exotic Warlock Chest Piece, the Telesto Exotic Fusion Rifle, the Sealed Amkara Grasp, which are a pair of exotic hunter gauntlets, and finally, the Sleeper Stimulant. Which is, of course, the heavy weapon fusion rifle that is being touted as uh, the Yallerhorn replacement. Now, with the Warlock Chest Piece, collecting primary ammo will give you a chance to gain Glimmer. Orbs collected when your super is full will also recharge your grenades and melee energy. The Chaperone Exotic Shotgun fires a single slug shot and grants an agility boost when you equip it. Your precision kills will grant a brief increase to handling, range, rate of fire, and stability, which just sounds absolutely amazing for a shotgun. Now, the sealed Amkara grasps are apparently filled with nightmare fuel. They'll provide you with an additional melee charge, and your melee damage will have a chance to reload your primary weapon. That sounds pretty cool, but we're not done yet. The Telesto fusion rifle is freaking awesome. This fusion rifle will attach projectiles to your foes and then detonate them with a delayed void blast. Multi kills that you get with this weapon will also drop orbs of light for your friends. That's a pretty cool ability if you ask me. Alright, next up we have the Sleeper Stimulant. Now, as most of you guys already know, the Stimulant is a heavy weapon fusion rifle. This weapon's laser will tear through enemies and ricochet on hard surfaces. And as you upgrade the weapon, the amount of times the weapon's laser will ricochet increases. This is going to be a big one. And finally, the Imprian Bellicose Exotic Titan Helmet promises this. Aiming your weapons while in the air will hold you in place for a short time. Orbs collected when your super is full will recharge your melee ability. So it's kind of a mixture of the orbs to melee energy and uh, Angel of Light it looks like. Definitely some very interesting stuff. Now, we don't know too much else about these exotics right now, but I suspect that we'll probably be learning a little bit more in the, uh, the ride-along that Bungie's going to be hosting on Twitch later today. But if you guys would like to check out those exotics for yourself, I'll leave a link to the Instagram page in the description box below. Anyways, make sure to let me know what you guys think about these new exotics and the Iron Banner itself in the comment section below. And make sure you tune in to Bungie's Twitch page. They will be going live at 11 a.m. Pacific Time, 2 p.m. Eastern Time. I will be hosting them on my channel on Twitch, so you can come and hang out. Overall, should be a pretty good time. But alright, it's going to be it for this one, guys. As always, I am the Black Link. You Guardians, stay frosty.